Milton! Down with the dog E.K. What? Hello. Oh, hello. So, what's up? Well, it's about time we worked on the script for the next episode of the Jigsaw video thing. I thought we were going to get your manservant to do the next one. Who? You know. What's his face? The guy you forced to follow you around all the time carrying a video camera? Uh, James? Jones. Juniper. Him. Um, well, we discussed it, and he can't be trusted not to say dirty words. Sorry. Well, that won't do. Our audience are mostly toddlers, after all. By last call, at any rate. So it looks like it's up to us once again to entertain the kiddies. Well, holy f Don't you stop. I'm sure we can whip together something in no time. Don't worry about it. We have to get the new episode ready in two days and we haven't written a single word, so will you please stop playing video games and come help me write the new episode because I can't come up with anything by myself and you know you can't do anything! Coming! Alright, there are a couple of typos in here, mostly on page six. Uh, trouble with the spell check? No, there was a B. Ah. So we'll just try and muddle through as best as we can. Do I start? Um, yes, top of two. Alright. Hey, Dr. Cri why, um, just out of curiosity, why is it we don't start until the top of page two? Blame Sid Field. Alright. Hey, Dr. Cranium. Uh, yes, Milton, what is it? I'm in the middle of an experiment right now. Oh, really? Uh, more like, oh, really? Okay. Oh, really? Good. Uh, yes, I'm trying to see whether it's possible to make pigeons more annoying. <laughs> uh, why on earth would you want to do that? Well, more loathsome pigeons means fewer people feeding them. Means fewer pigeons. Means the pigeons have to come to me to lift the curse. Means utter domination over all pigeons everywhere. <laughs> This, this doesn't sound like such a bad idea, actually. Well, actually, I tried it a couple of years ago. There are two flaws. Really? Yes. Well, for one thing, it's impossible to make pigeons more annoying. <laughs> You're not kidding. Yes, and even if you do, people still feed them. Why? Well, my data was inconclusive, but I'm pretty sure it's because people are morons. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, why, why would you want domination over all pigeons everywhere? Well, who wouldn't want an all-pigeon army? Anyone with a brine in their head? Well, uh, sorry, that's supposed to be brain. I thought you said the typos were on page six. Mostly on six. Okay. Um, you know, pigeons were very important in World War II. Aren't you a little laud to be- Laud? Old. Typo? It was a big B. Aren't you a little old to be reminiscing about World War II? Well, I'm not as young as- Wait, old. Young. This is really supposed to be the other way around. Are you sure they're pops? Hey, we agreed no jokes about my age. Why was that exactly? Well, for one thing, it's not very nice. I'm making the cricket noise. For another thing, I'm not actually technically that old. Whoa, explain that one to me. Well, in order to determine my age, you have to calculate an average figure based upon the age of each biological and mechanical component proportional to its percentage of overall body mass. So how old are you? Twelve. Twelve?! Well, then a half. You know, I would just like to point out that as you invented me around three years ago, you're still four times older than I am. Huh. Pops! Okay, can we just get on with the read-through, please? You want to skip the World War II section? Please. Okay. So, talk to Arachnimu. Page six. Page six. So, Dr. Cranium, I didn't think you wanted to take over the role. World. Um, I don't. I just think that an army of pigeons would be a useful thing to have. Shy see Taff. Why is that? Uh, well, take Lump here. Lump enters blue-wide-red. Bewildered, thank you. Um, as it stands, Lump is generally limited in mobility. But with an army of pig ones, an army of pig ones, pigeons, could latch onto Lump and carry him wherever he wants to go. Lump, how do you feel about this? <sighs> My thoughts check exactly. Um, sorry, that's supposed to, uh, sorry. <laughs> How big was this bee? It took my bagel. <laughs> That's a big bee. 